Colors uh, is one of the diseases that continue to affect the residents of Namorputh village in Turkana County. KTN has reported before on the challenges that the residents have had in accessing medical care as the area has a scarcity of health centers. Now, a missionary-led dispensary has been the oasis of hope for the residents here. And now, better news has come to these communities as this dispensary has been upgraded into a health center, one that even offers inpatient services. KTN's Joanne Letting has the support. Akoda Tiongo is in her late 40s. She is a resident of Lokuriyama village in Turkana County at the Kenyan-Ugandan border. Her tired, wrinkled face and exhausted weak frame speak of a painful two months she has had ailing from a constant fever and swollen stomach. But what would be even more painful was the long journey to this dispensary. Akoda has walked more than 24 kilometers, spent two nights on the road in search of a cure. She had to endure the long walk while sick, with other dangers such as wild animals lacking. <laughs> At the Namoruput PAG dispensary, Akoda was diagnosed with Kalaza and immediately put on medication. And she is not alone. A Tenge king has tried using various herbal and traditional medicine to heal her aching body, but in vain. She has had to walk for over 10 kilometers from Kalelekol to Namoruput in search of a cure. <laughs> Nafu, akamua, afadhali niende hospitali ndio niangaliwe kwa sababu ugonjwa inamshika kwa muda. Sagal Nabor quietly lies on the mat on the corridor as the nurse attends to him. He also comes from Kalelokol. His wasted body has affected his normal senses. The Namoruput PAG Health Center has for more than two decades been attending to the community across the wider Loima division. The dispensary was upgraded last week into a health center, having more facilities and offering more services, including inpatient services. David Odiambo, the clinical officer in charge at the dispensary, says that they receive many cases of the Kalaza disease. He says that the upgrading of the dispensary would make it easy for them to monitor their patients instead of sending them to their neighboring relatives when evening comes due to lack of wards. All along we have been receiving severe cases, but due to challenges we did not have a place to admit this patient. We have just been doing it casually. Along the Odiambo adds that due to the difficulty in accessing medical care and sometimes a lack of health awareness, the locals in use traditional measures which often increase the risk of contracting other diseases like anemia. This disease is transmitted through a bite of sunfly and uh, it is caused by an, an organism called Leishmania Donovani. So this disease mostly affects the age group being affected is uh, children around 6 to 12 years. Then we have adults, majorly male. 
local leaders including Senate Speaker Ekwe Thuro, Loima MP Prota Sakuja, and the executive in charge of health in Turkana County, Jena Jele, have all lauded the expansion of the health center, stating that the facility now has better capacity to assist more patients from the area. The health center is run by the PAG and assisted Deborah Singh and supported by the county government. Joanne Letting for KTN News in the Moruput area, Turkana County.